Hi people, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about something which I had been asked on my Insta stories, on my DMs in my Insta stories that which brushes do I use and how do I clean them. So today I'm going to give you some affordable brushes which you can buy if you're a beginner and if you do, if you love makeup and you do a lot of makeup. So I guess this brush set is going to be enough for you guys and I have been using it and many of you were asking me about it so today I'll be telling you that and also I'll be telling you how I clean my brushes so just stay tuned till the end to know all these things and you can get them easily available online so I'll be leaving everything below in the description box so you can check them out whichever product I'm using or whatever I'm telling you about today so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe the bell icon below and now let's get into the video so coming to the most important thing today that we're going to talk is the brushes and the brushes which I have been using a lot I do use pack brushes as well as pro art brushes but recently I got my hands on these brushes these are from Amazon I ordered them from Amazon and this is a set of 10 brushes 5 face brushes and 5 eye brushes and this is how it looks the packaging the texture of these brushes are quite good and they are very very nice like the bristles of the brush is very soft so these 10 brushes costed me only around 500 bucks so you can imagine how cheap and affordable they are because if you go and purchase a single brush from pack pro art or uh, nyx you co they cost you 500 each brush and you get here 10 brushes in just 500 bucks so i'm going to tell you which all brushes i have in here so the first brush is this tapered face brush this can be used for your uh, powder brush or wherever you want to apply the powder and just set your powder very nicely on your face the next brush is the angled contour brush i love this brush because the contour easily blends on my face and i don't have to work a lot with it so the bristles are quite soft and good so i feel it's very very good to contour my face with this contour brush the next brush is a flat angled foundation brush i've been using this a lot as you can see i cleaned up still the foundation you can see a little bit of foundation here but yeah it blends the foundation very easily earlier i was just using a beauty blender but now i have been loving this brush and i have started applying this brush uh, with the foundation with this brush so a very very good brush if you are a beginner i guess these brushes are enough for you so the next is the flat buffing brush so the buffing brush is basically to buff all the uh, excess foundation you have on your face or whatever you have to just buff it out so what i do is whenever i apply my contour my blush my highlighter and my foundation i just buff it like this it is actually it works as a stippling brush but i use it as just as a stippling brush only how a stippling brush is used so i just buff everything up and i blend everything so that everything should be seamless and it should not look different like the highlighter the contour the blush and everything should be on one even track so i just buff everything up with this brush so i really like this brush as well from this kit and the next face brush is the round contour brush this is also used for contouring but i like the tapered one more so you can use this as your powder brush or whenever you want to use if you want to use it as contour you can use it as contour but if you want to use it as powder you can use it that way so i guess this is a multi-purpose brush for me and the other five brushes for eyes are the flat angled crease brush so this is a bit angular in shape as you can see so i just buff it out wherever in in my inside corners and on my outer corners very easily and it blends the eyeshadow very 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 easily so the next brush is the flat top crease brush i have been using this one a lot like flat angle brush i was using the flat top crease because it helps to 
put the foundation uh, it helps to put the eyeshadow very easily in your crease and you can blend it very very seamlessly so i really like this one as well and the next one is eyeshadow blending brush again this is a blending brush and this is a little flat and angled so again you can apply it in the inside and outside i wish they could have got one more range of brush in instead of a blending brush because i guess the crease brush was making justice to everything you needed so they could have got something else but yeah i work with it very fine and the next is the angled crease brush this is again a angled crease brush so you can use it in your crease and blend your eyeshadow with it and just use your eye look for this brush and the next and the last uh, eyeshadow brush is the fat pointy dome brush so this is in a dome shaped form so it actually helps to underline my um, waterline as well as if i want to just buff everything out or if i want to go inside my inner corners or here or here i can apply it very very easily so i guess these brushes are quite affordable and very very good to use i have been using them a lot and if you are a beginner and you want a good brush set which is affordable and you just want to start working out with them so i guess this one's a great pick so coming to how i wash my brushes is basically i ordered a mat again from amazon which was so affordable and this is the one right here this is the full box which has the mat inside so i'll just remove the mat so this is the mat right here so this is a copy of the sigma mat if you know that sigma brushes even has have a mat like this this is a brush cleaning mat so this helps to clean all your brushes in one go like you don't have to work everything out with each and every brush and this helps a lot like this has uh this sticking part which you can stick it in your wash basin or wherever you're washing your brushes and everything is in detail here like everything is written in detail so wherever there is written wash face so you the texture of this is different so that you can wash your face brushes here for the eye brushes there is different so everything is mentioned here like this is for wash eyes this is for brush cleaning mat the main thing which is written and this is for refine like this texture is different this texture is different and this texture is different so this also costed me around 300 something i leave the link below as well as the price below so it was so 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 affordable like i have been cleaning my brushes and i'll show you how i clean it so just stay tuned and yeah this is the brush set i ordered and this i ordered this with that so it only costed me around 800 for the total thing like i am not sure about the price but yeah it was not that much but you get everything in under 1000 and you just have to work with this for the rest of your life if you're not a makeup artist but yeah if you're a makeup artist i don't think so these brushes will be enough for you you might need more brushes but if you're a beginner and you are doing a good amount of makeup i guess this cleaning set and this brushes are good for you so now i'll show you how i wash them so, uh, and everything what i use and how i use it and how i wash it and what are what is the benefit of this mat so you will come to know everything